Welcome back to Whole Future, guys. Wanted to talk today about omega-3 fatty acids and fish oil supplements and why I think these are generally a bad idea. I know this goes against a lot of the mainstream wisdom, especially of the mainstream alternative health movement. And so I wanted to sort of explain myself and argue to you that taking a fish oil supplement is not only bad for your own personal health, but it's also bad for the environment for more reasons than you may even realize. So, let's get started. Fish. We do you think we're not getting enough omega-3 fatty acids, and that may be true, and I'll explain why that's true in a little while. So, we think, okay, well, fish are high in omega-3, so let's eat a lot of those. But then we look at the fact that three-quarters of the world's fish stocks are depleted. This is a UN report, this is common knowledge, that... It, we're, we're just overfishing the oceans and <laughs> many fisheries are on the verge of collapse and by 2050 we estimate that um, all the world's fish stocks will be completely depleted. So we're eating way more fish than we have in the oceans yet somehow we're not eating enough fish. So either we've got a peak fish crisis coming on our hands or just the math isn't somehow adding up. Not to mention that there's some other problems with fish. Okay, the oceans are heavily polluted, full of toxins and heavy metals, plenty of mercury. I don't think, you know, raisins have mercury in them, but fish and seafood has mercury. And the other thing is that we've dumped every single pharmaceutical drug you can possibly imagine into the ocean. So when you eat fish, you're eating every single pharmaceutical drug that's ever been created. So there's a lot of toxicity going along with it, aside the fact that, you know, it is acidifying on the body, and the fat and cholesterol contributes to heart disease, so on and so forth. So, the problem is not just that people aren't eating enough omega-3s, it's they're not eating enough, they're eating too many omega-6s. And you may think, well, what does that have anything to do with it? A lot of people say you need to have this ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. Well, why? So the science behind this is pretty simple. The same enzymes that convert the omega-3 pathway, so they take ALA to make... DHA and EPA and, and convert each step along the way are called desaturase enzymes. And these enzymes that we have are the same enzymes that convert the omega-6 pathway and take um, LA to become DGLA and arachidonic acid and everything on the inflammatory pathway. So if you're not eating an even ratio of both of these, then one pathway is going to be favored. And by and large, most people eat way more omega-6s than omega-3s. I think the average American eats like 16 to 17 to 1. And so your body is going to be converting the uh, omega-6 pathway, and it's not going to have any bandwidth to convert the omega-3 pathway. So then people say, oh, well, people can't you know, convert uh, ALA to DHA and EPA. It's only like 5% efficient. Well, of course they can't if they're eating tons and tons of omega-6s. But the enzymes are going to be busy converting omega-6s. So the solution is not to eat more omega-3s. The solution is to eat less omega-6. And then you, you solve the problem that way. you got to remove the cause. See, in capitalist culture, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but you create this one industry that, oh, people really want processed food because it just, like, you know, gives them the dopamine hit. And who cares about their health? We can make a lot of money selling it to them. So we grow seeds like, you know grow things like canola and soy and, you know, make things like palm oil. We take these foods and we just refine them and take the oil out and then add this to food and adds a flavor kick and a dopamine hit, you know, at the expense of people's health. It's really high in omega-6, so we're eating all this processed food with omega-6s. Of course, we're not going to be able to convert uh, our omega-3 pathway very well. So then what we do is we say, okay, people are eating too much omega-6. Well, let's create another industry to uh, refine the omega-3s out of other things. So now, not only are, do we have this omega-6 industry that's eroding the topsoil by, like, by just growing mass quantities of this food that's you know, really not good for the topsoil, now we're also plundering the oceans, acidifying the oceans, destroying the ecosystem to create this other industry to give you omega-3s, when in the first place we could have just not eaten so many omega-6s. So my advice to you is to cut down on the omega-6 intake, eat fruits and vegetables. These are high in both omega-6 and omega-3 in an even ratio. Eat entire meals of fruits and vegetables. I know that's a radical idea, but give it a try. And you'll get 
um, all the benefits of you know having a diet high in omega threes without all the side effects of not only one to your personal health but also the environment of destroying the environment not only in the ocean but also on the land as well. I think uh, everybody would be better off if we all did that. And this is not just my opinion. This is the science. So if you have any questions on that, definitely leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I also have a Facebook page now, Whole Future on Facebook. Go check that out if you haven't. And if you like Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of um, you know foraging and wholesale shopping and cool stuff of how I acquire uh, lots of fruits and vegetables on a relatively low budget and just enjoy a huge abundance of uh, really healthy food. So hope you liked it guys and I'll catch you next video.